Good morning. Welcome to Resurrection Lutheran Cooperative Ministry Morning Prayer. I'm so glad you're able to join me as we begin our day with the word of the Lord. So let us begin. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. O come, let us worship him. Alleluia. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord is risen indeed. O come, let us worship him. Alleluia. Our psalm today is Psalm 118. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Let Israel now proclaim his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron now proclaim his mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord now proclaim his mercy endures forever. I called to the Lord in my distress, and the Lord answered by setting me free. The Lord is at my side, therefore I will not fear. Who can any, how, what can anyone do to me? The Lord is at my side to help me. I will triumph over those who hate me. It is better to rely on the Lord than to put any trust in flesh. It is better to rely on the Lord than to put any trust in rulers. All the ungodly encompass me. In the name of the Lord, I will repel them. They hem me in, they hem me in on every side. In the name of the Lord, I will repel them. They swarm about me like bees. They blaze like a fire of thorns. In the name of the Lord, I will repel them. I was pressed so hard that I almost fell, but the Lord came to my help. The Lord is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. There is a sound of exultation and victory in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord has triumphed. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord has triumphed. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. The Lord has punished me sorely, but he did not hand me over to death. Open for me the gates of righteousness. I will enter them. I will offer thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. He who is righteous may enter. I will give thanks to you for you answered me and have become my salvation. The same stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. On this day, the Lord has acted. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hosanna, Lord, Hosanna. Lord, send us now success. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. God is the Lord. He has shined upon us from the procession for the branches of, up to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will thank you. You are my God, and I will exalt you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Let us pray. Lord God, your son rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone of the church. Shed rays of your glory upon your church that it may be seen as the gate of salvation open to all nations. Let cries of joy and exultation ring out from its courts to celebrate the wonders of Christ's resurrection now and forever. Amen. Well, we continue our reading in Exodus now in the 33rd chapter. The Lord said to Moses, Depart, go up hence, go to the people whom you have brought up out of the land of Egypt, to the land of which I swore to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, saying, To your descendants I will give it, and I will send an angel before you, and I will drive out the Canaanites, the Amorites, the Hittites, the Parasites, the Hevites, and the Jebusites. Go up to the land flowing with milk and honey, but I will not go up among you, lest I consume you in the way, for you are a stiff-necked people." When the people heard these evil tidings, they mourned, and no man put on his ornaments. For the Lord had said to Moses, Say to the people of Israel, You are a stiff-necked people. If for a single moment I should go up among you, I will consume you. So now put off your ornaments from you, that I may know what to do with you. Therefore the people of Israel stripped themselves of their ornaments from Mount Horeb onward. Now Moses used to take the tent and pitch it outside the camp, far off from the camp, and he called it the tent of meetings. And everyone who sought the Lord would go out to the tent of meetings, which was outside the camp. Whenever Moses went out to the tent, all the people rose up, and every man stood on his tent door and looked after Moses until he had gone into the tent. 
When Moses entered the tent, the pillars of cloud would descend and stand at the door of the tent, and the Lord would speak with Moses. And when all the people saw the pillar of cloud standing at the door of the tent, all the people would rise up and worship every man at his tent door. Then the Lord used to speak to Moses face to face, as a man speaks to his friend. When Moses turned again into the camp, his servant Joshua, the son of Nun, a young man, did not depart from the tent. Moses said to the Lord, See that see thou sayest to me, Bring up this people, but thou hast not let me know whom thou wilt send with me. Yet thou hast said, I know you by name, and you have also found favor in my sight. Now therefore I pray thee, if I have found favor in thy sight, show me now the ways that I may know thee, and find favor in thy sight. Consider too that this nation is thy people, and he said, My presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. And he said to him, If thy presence will not go with me, do not carry us up, uh, carry up us up from here. For how shall it be known that I have found favor in thy sight, I and the peoples? Is it not in the going with us, so that so that we are distinct, I and thy people, from all the other people there uh, that are upon the face of the earth? And the Lord said to said to Moses, <clears throat> This will be the thing that you have spoken. I will do. For you have found favor in my sight, and I know you by name. Moses said, I pray thee, show me thy glory. And he said, I will make all my goodness pass before you, and will proclaim before you my name, the Lord. And I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious. And I will show mercy on whom I shall. I will show mercy. But he said, you cannot see my face, for man shall not see me and live. And the Lord said, Behold, there is a place by me where you shall stand upon the rock, and while my glory passes by, I will put you in a cleft and of the rock, <clears throat> and I will cover you with my hand until I have passed by. Then I will take away my hand, and you shall see my back, but my face shall not be seen. The, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second reading comes from First Thessalonians, the second chapter, beginning with verse 1. For you yourselves know, brethren, that our visit to uh, to you was not in vain, but through uh, but though we are already suffered and been shamefully treated in Philippi, as you know, we have courage in our God to declare to you the gospel of God in the face of great opposition. For our appeal does not spring f from error or uncleanness, nor is it made with guile. But just as we have been approved by God to be entrusted with the gospel, so we speak not to please man, but to please God who tests our hearts. For we never used either words or flattery, as you know, or a cloak for greed, as God is witness, nor did we seek glory from men, whether from you or from others, though we might have made demands as apostles of Christ. But we were gentle among you, like a nurse taking care of her children. So being uh, affectionately des uh, desirous of you, we were ready to share with you not only the gospel of God, but also our, uh, our own selves, because you have become very dear to us. For you remember our labor and toil, brethren, by working night and day, that we might not burden, burden any of you while we preach to you the gospel of God. You are witnesses, and God also, how holy and righteous and blameless was our behavior to you believers. For you know how, like a father with his children, we exhorted each one of you and encouraged you and, changed, uh, and charged you to lead a life worthy of God who calls you into his own kingdom and glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our holy gospel comes from uh, Matthew, the fifth chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. Think not that I have come to abolish the law and the prophets. I have come not to abolish them, but to fulfill them. For truly I say to you, till heaven and earth pass away, not an iota, not a dot will pass from the law until all is accomplished. Whoever then relaxes one of the least of these commandments and teaches men so shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But he who does them and teaches them shall be called great, or great in the kingdom of heaven. For I tell you, unless your righteousness exceeds, of the, exceeds that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. 
But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. This is the day the Lord has made. Alleluia. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty savior born of the house of his servant, David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our fathers, Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship you without fear, righteous and uh, without fear, holy and righteous in the sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the most high. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. This is the day the Lord has made. Alleluia. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. Let us pray. God, our Father, life of the faithful, glory of the humble, happiness of the just, hear our prayer. Fill our emptiness with the blessings of your of this Eucharist, the foretaste of eternal joy. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power, that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining me as we begin our day on this Wednesday. I hope you have a safe and blessed day. God bless you. And I hope to see you tomorrow as well. See you. Bye-bye.